I was looking online the other day and I came across this chart and on the side it had different GPAs and then on the top it had different MCAT scores and then right in the middle it had different percentages and those percentages correlated to the chance of you getting into medical school. And so me just being curious, I wanted to see what my chance would have been of getting into medical school with my 2.7 science GPA and my 491 MCAT. And so I looked on there and I had a 0.9% chance of getting into medical school. And apparently that 0.9 was just enough. And so in this video, I'm gonna actually analyze that chart for you guys and tell you how you can also get into medical school, even if you have a low MCAT or a low GPA. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Michael. I'm a first year medical student and I'm here to instill some hope into a lot of you out there that may be struggling to get into medical school because it wasn't too long ago that I was on that side of the camera. I was sitting in your place and I was trying to figure out how the heck was I going to get into medical school with a 2.7 science GPA and a 491 MCAT. And so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about that chart that I mentioned earlier on and how I only had like a 0.9% chance of getting into medical school, but I was still able to do it. And so if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of special master's programs. Now, if you're not familiar with what a special master's program is, it's not quite a post back because you're actually getting a whole separate GPA at the graduate level. So you'll have your undergraduate GPA, but then you'll also have your graduate level GPA. And the big kicker with these special master's programs is they're offered at medical schools, or at least the ones you should look into are offered at medical schools. And I highly advise against going to a special master's program that is not at a medical school. Because what these medical schools are doing, they're seeing if you guys can do well in their special master's program which honestly is super, super similar to your first year medical school. So if you crush it in your SMP program, then generally you'll get an interview at that medical school where your SMP is at, and then the majority of you that get interviews are gonna get into the medical school. So that's kind of what I did in a quick recap of a lot of the content that I cover on my channel. But today I kind of want to just analyze this chart. Um, and I used this chart in my last video. So if you guys haven't seen that video, the link will be down in the description. Go check out that video after this one um, because I think you'll find a lot of value in the things that I have to say in that one as well. All right, guys. So this is the chart that I was talking about. As you can see um, on this left hand side, you have total GPA and you have different ranges. So all the way from like 2.0 all the way up to like 4.0. And then here on the top, you have your MCAT score. And um, so you just have to go through and find your MCAT score, find your GPA. And we'll just use me as an example. Um, you know, I don't have any shame in sharing, you know, my statistics with you guys. I'm all about being transparent with you guys because I know that it's difficult to get into medical school. And I just want to make sure that you guys know that you can still do it even if you have a low um, GPA or low MCAT score. And so we'll go to, my science GPA was about a 2.75 or a 2.7, I don't know. I think it's calculated differently depending on the DO application and the MD application. Um, so let's just stick with 2.7. So we're right here in this column right here, 2.6 to 2.79. And then my first MCAT was a 491. So right here, we can find my little box. And I had a 0.9% chance of getting into medical school. Um, and I did it, guys. So that 0.9% was obviously enough to get into medical school. That being said, I did do a special master's program. And halfway through that special master's program, I did retake the MCAT. And so let's see what my chances are now. So we'll stay with that 2.7 undergraduate science GPA. And then my new MCAT was a 494. So my chances went up to a 4.7% chance of getting into medical school. Now that being said, um, let's just investigate here a little bit. Um, I got a 3.6 my first semester of my special master's program. 
So let's kind of look at what that would be. So we're up here, second to the top, 3.6 to 3.79. Um, and then let's go over to my MCAT, my most recent, which was a 494. And so I moved up to 11.3% chance of getting into medical school. Now those are decent odds for the majority of medical schools out there. You guys are going to have about a 6 to 8% chance of getting into any given medical school. Now places like Harvard and like Ivy League medical schools, they're going to be a lot lower, so you're only going to have like a 2 maybe 3% chance of getting in there. Um, if you guys haven't seen my video, um, I did like a review on Dr. Cellini's video that he did on Ivy League medical schools, and if you should choose those over like a more affordable option like your in-state uh, medical school, that link will be down in the description below as well. Um, I highly recommend watching that video because I give some good insights on how to choose which medical school to go to. But enough about that. Um, so I did my special master's program. I got a 3.6. The second time I took the MCAT, I had a 494. Um, so as we can see, that puts me at an 11.3% chance of getting into medical school. But here's the thing about special master's programs. I didn't actually have an 11% chance of getting into medical school. I had closer to about an 80% chance of getting into medical school. And here's why. When you do a special master's program, usually the school will have an agreement with the medical program. And so if you do well in your special master's program, you're invited for a medical school interview. And at that point, if you get a med school interview, you have a very, very high chance of getting into medical school. And so this chart is kind of only for people trying to get into medical school if you're going from undergrad straight into medical school. So if I had these statistics in undergrad, I would have an 11% chance of getting into medical school, which is better than the average, you know, 7% chance. But there is one thing that I want to show you guys on this chart, and it's these bottom numbers down here, and then these side numbers right here on the right. So let's start with the bottom number. So the bottom number is basically going to disregard your GPA entirely. So if you go and you look at your MCAT score and just say you had like a 505 because that's pretty much the average and you go straight down, you have about a 30% chance of getting into medical school. Now, if we say we had a 3.5 GPA, so we'll be right here in this column. And if we go all the way over here to the side and we disregard the MCAT, then we have about a 32% chance of getting into medical school. Now, let's look at the, the highest percentage right here. So 81% is the highest chance you have of getting into medical school. And that's going to require an MCAT that is higher than a 518. So a nearly perfect MCAT score. I'm not sure on like the percentile. I'm going to guess that it's about the 90th percentile or higher. But if we go over here to the right and we look at this 64.6% .6 chance, that is having a 3.8 GPA or higher. And I think it's funny because if you compare the 64%, and we'll just round it up to 65%, with this 81% down here, then you can tell that this chart is giving more weight to the MCAT versus the GPA. And so I think that's something that's important to take away because if you have a lower GPA, you can still supplement that with a higher MCAT and vice versa. But it looks like according to this chart that having a higher MCAT is going to pull more weight than having say a 4.0 GPA. So guys, basically the take home message of this entire video is your grades do matter, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, having a high science GPA is gonna make your guys' lives a whole lot easier when it comes down to getting into medical school, as well as having a decent MCAT score. Um, I mean, it's easy to say having a higher 
GPA and a higher MCAT is gonna help you guys. But that ultimately comes down to, you know, your smarts. It comes down to how much time you're willing to dedicate to studying. You know, some professors are easier than others. Some schools are easier than others, resulting in better or worse grades, depending on which side of the fence you're on. And so me personally, I like to attribute my poor science GPA to the terrible professors I had during undergrad. Um, but luckily, I was actually able to get into a special master's program. It's at the medical school that I currently attend. And so if you guys are in the position where you need to look into a special master's program, I highly recommend Kansas City University. It's not only one of the best, if not the best, DO medical school in the country, but their special master's program is top notch. And it's going to prepare you so freaking well for medical school. It's unbelievable. You know, I'm at the point where I do not know how people go straight from undergrad to medical school. Because if I hadn't have done the special master's program, I think I would be totally and completely lost in medical school. Now, that's not to say that people coming in from undergrad do worse than the people coming in from the special master's program. The special master's program just does an excellent job at preparing you for medical school. You guys are going to come in and absolutely rock it, and you're really not going to notice a huge difference in the rigorous curriculum. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how I went from having a 0.9% chance of getting into medical school to actually being in medical school now. So if I can do it, you guys totally can do it. It just comes down to your want, your grit, and your resilience. Um, just don't take no for an answer. Find an alternative way and just get it done. Now, if you guys have any more questions, drop them down in the comments. I will get back to you guys. If you guys want to speak to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can book a consult with me. My Facebook page is called Med School Mentor. That's basically where I run my advising services. So if you guys just feel like you need to talk to me, and kind of figure out a game plan, we can totally get that done for you. And so with that being said, if you guys haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a like so it reaches more pre-med students that are struggling to get into medical school. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video.